My journey started with a pretty traumatic experience in high school. I never really understood um, mental health or was never really exposed to any kind of um, any kind of information about what to do if you're going through anything throughout school, like throughout elementary school and high school as well. Um, and so having gone through a loss in my family, I um, didn't really know where to go from there. We unexpectedly lost my father when I was 17 and that was very, um, that was very hard, especially for someone who had never gone through anything or had never heard about um, had never really truly experienced loss. I found it very hard in high school, so I just didn't address it, which was probably the worst thing I could have done right off the bat, but I'm sure a lot of people, when they deal with trauma, it's, you don't really know how to handle it, and everybody copes differently, and for myself, I found it best to look after everyone around me first. So for my first couple of years, having gone through that, I didn't really address it. I didn't really understand um, or cope with the feelings that I was going through properly. Um, I was lucky to have a community of friends that kept me really busy at the time, and I never really had to address it because I always kept my plate full. I'm definitely the kind of person that likes to stay busy, so it's easy for me to ignore whatever I'm going through or my own mental health when I I'm so busy and care for others in my life before myself. Um, so yeah, I helped my mom in her weight loss journey for the first year. I helped my sister kind of cope with whatever she was going through. It was really hard getting through to her and watching her go through depression was definitely, um, was definitely hard, but we all kind of did the best we could. Um, I went to my first year of university and I think that's when everything kind of hit. Um, and I wasn't really feeling like myself, misunderstood, um, felt like there was no one I could talk to, and I was just commuting day to day. It was a very like robotic, monotonous routine, and I wasn't able to make friends um, as quickly because I was commuting so much, and I wasn't really, I was working, um, going to school, doing both of those things full time and commuting for two hours a day. So I really decided to put a lot on my plate right off the bat. Um, and then I decided to take a year off because I was so mentally exhausted after that, that I just felt like I needed the time. And that's when everything just kind of caved in all at once. Um, I had realized that I was going through mental illness um, definitely depression, anxiety, anything you can think of. Um, and it was a very difficult year and I felt like I didn't really have a lot of people to talk to other than my immediate family. Um, my mom was very good about it. She said, you know, it's okay to be sad, but there wasn't much else that I could really do. And I felt like I couldn't be the only person that was going through something like this and I was like how is it that no one ever talks about this like there's nothing in schools nothing in universities um, that kind of provides people with the opportunity to open up and talk about what they're going through so I didn't really want to go back to the university I had gone to I had chosen to go to George Brown um, just a smaller community and I was like maybe I could find a better community there um, something a little more supportive I had moved closer downtown so it gave me opportunity to kind of have more time to myself um, and focus on you know creating connections with others as well but when I was looking around clubs on campus I also like didn't really find anything that spoke to me I don't really know what I was looking for at the time but I happened to have come across my friend Shannon, who um, had connected with me about like our stories, we both shared our stories and it so happened that we both connected over having lost our dads. We got close just like instantly. And I think that's when like the switch happened for me where I was like, oh my God, if I could have these conversations with people, um, maybe I could get through to them or provide some kind of space for them to talk about things that they're going through. So together we just kind of like went around campus, talking to people, seeing, um, asking them very personal questions that were probably very uncomfortable, but surprisingly enough, we broke through. Um, and so I learned a lot developing this club on campus called New View, New View Collective. 
um, and we basically facilitated these groups for students and talked about our stories and it was very therapeutic for myself. Um, I found that I was going through a lot having gone into it and no, we did not have any kind of facilitating experience, so we just wanted to start a conversation and the impact that that had. I had never expected that kind of response from students and from others and it really just opened my eyes as to resources that are needed on campuses around um, schools everywhere. And it felt really good to be a part of a community. So I think the best thing that we can do is address what we're going through and kind of face it head on by talking about what we're going through and being vulnerable with one another. And that really helped me in my own journey. I feel like you can't really put it into one moment. And that's the thing with mental health is like, it's kind of ongoing and there were a lot of times where I was like, oh my God, I'm dealing with this. Oh my God, it's the pressure of this. I have, you know, body confidence issues and, you know, depression and anxiety. And it's not, um, I think New View really helped me with that as well. Just like addressing what I was dealing with and then talking to others about it really helped me um, figure out like everything I was going through one at a time. But yeah, I think I'm still, I still have a lot of um, discovering to do and I think the best way to do that is um, keeping an open dialogue and talking to people as much as I can openly about things I'm going through and things they're going through and I'm very much, I'm not really a small talker, <laughs> like I don't, I don't find that to be a very productive thing. Um, but I hit people with the hard questions <laughs> right away and that either terrifies them or it uh, gets them to open up and when they do open up it creates this really great connection and I find that that's what like that's what people need and you know the one-dimensional conversations can only keep up for so long especially in school and in our everyday lives like at work and we need to be a little more transparent about things that we're going through and I think that's what I advocate for most. So if there's anything that I could pass forward to people is to address what they're going through, even though it may seem scary at the time. Um, there are a lot of resources out there and your sharing your story is going to help you find the right people and the right resources and the right um, path that will help you heal. So if there's anything that I have really taken away is to be honest with yourself um, and to ask yourself questions every day. Check in with yourself before you check in with others. I have a terrible habit of, um, I'm a huge empathetic, so I really look after everyone in my circle, everyone in my family, my friends. Like I check on them before I check on myself, um, but it doesn't really serve anyone if you're not looking after your own mental health at the end of the day um, and just kind of seeing how you're feeling every day so like I know this is a very cliche kind of um, tip but journaling really helps asking yourself those questions even if you're not into writing about it just asking yourself every morning like how am I doing how am I genuinely doing today um, and if you're sad it's okay to address that and it's okay to come to terms with that it's really important that you communicate that to your family and friends because once you build up a wall, there's not really much that they can do to help. Um, and also seeing, asking yourself, what can others do for me? Like, what, what can they do to help me? Because I've had the question multiple times of like, what can I do to help? And honestly, for me, it's just being there, but it might be a different thing that everybody else needs. So just asking yourself those important questions is crucial.